your typical residency program has a whole bunch of residents, a whole bunch of residency staff and faculty, and everything circles around that. Here, what we've done is we've sort of implanted this residency program into an office, a regular everyday office, and the residents become a part of that office. Uh, so it's, it's not like it's a separate entity or anything like that. They're literally a part of the office and, and they work with all the other providers and taking care of the people in this community. We have a lot of hands-on and one-on-one -on -one learning. The, they work directly with the preceptors, with the office staff. Uh, has, for instance, you're not standing in line to wait for preceptors because there's 10 other residents in line waiting for you. It's direct, it's one-on-one, -on -one, and again, we're doing everything that a family medicine office does from uh, cradle to grave. I think the program has a couple of strengths. I think you can get a lot from different family medicine programs, but I think one of the strengths we have here is that it's a really small hospital and the community is really engaged in the residency. So some of the patients have been resident patients for years and years and years. The other strength I think is that you get a really wide breadth of patients. I think our biggest strength is that you get a lot of pediatric experience and it's really set up like an apprenticeship. So you really get that um, feeling that you're starting your day in the hospital, you're moving through seeing patients in the clinic, you're balancing phone calls from the floor. It's really what most of us got into medicine to do. The other piece of this program that's really wonderful is that it's very small. So there's two attendings, there's myself and Dr. Kreckel, um, and you will work with other physicians in the hospital and on call, but your precepting is done a lot by the two of us. So you get to know these people very well and so the feedback is provided directly to you because you're sitting in the room with your preceptor while you're seeing patients. So I sit with the residents and at the end of the day I go over their notes. This is what you did well, this is what you need work on, um, what can we work on through the day. We start the day with tell me something that you want to get out of today and end the day with did we accomplish that, do we need to work on it next time. We have some that have opened direct primary care practices. We have others that are faculty members at um, residency programs, some that have done complementary and alternative medicine or have gone on to geriatric fellowships. Um, they're really all over the place. You can really do anything with the training you get here. Being a part of this community, uh, you're recognized throughout. Uh, we, I do sports uh, programs in the community, go down to football games and just become a part of that. And that you don't always get, particularly in, in some larger institutions. So it's really about community and family. You know, to be able to go out there and, and do what you need to do for your community is, is probably the most important thing. Hey everybody, wanted to give you a tour of kind of our home here up in uh, Rumford. So right across the street from the hospital, we've got the Swift River Clinic. I'll take you inside. So, you know, we're in the hospital pretty much every day, rounding on patients, sometimes ducking back a couple times a day to see how things are going. And then right across the street here, we've got our clinic. So we got uh, our office here. Everybody's got their own designated space. We've got a couple of the residents here. You know, we, it's really nice to have your own spot. You can leave kind of your work and you know, it feels like home. You know, every day we've got kind of one MA we're working with, a nurse we're working with, and you know, get to know these folks really good. And it's probably the best part of working up here is, you know, the close-knit team. This is our procedure room. One of the perks of the rural program is, you know, patients are coming in here needing procedures, expecting procedures, you know, tongue tie, you know, clipping, skin, you know, skin procedures, cryo, shave biopsy, punch biopsy, you know, all sorts of joint injections, all those things kind of take place generally in this room here, you know, most days of the week. So it's one of the, definitely one of the opportunities you get. And for the osteopathically inclined, we've got DO room here, uh, os you know, the OMT room, we've got a few of, uh, you know, osteopathic preceptors, and so kind of got the bandwidth in the clinic to be doing OMT if that's what you're interested in. You know, I'm on the osteopathic track, and my colleague Izzy Taylor is also a DO, so 
got that opportunity up here as well. You know, in the last part of the tour of the clinic here is, you know, the OBGYN side of the office. I've got Dr. Dowd here, you know, really generous teacher, and we spend a lot of time, you know, working together with obstetrics, gynecology, you know. So it's a real, real blessing to have that right in the office. Yes, thank you. Yeah, we love to teach in our facility and uh, we have a good program and uh, we love to have the residents working with us. And uh, the last kind of, you know, fun bit of the job is home visits. So it's loaded up with everything I need to take some good vital signs and we're going to head out and, you know, see somebody out in the community. It should be fun. Thank you. The Brumford Community Hospital started out as a house down the block from here. And in 1924, the community came together to pull their own resources to build the original hospital. Um, we'll see later inside, our updated inpatient and OB unit was built in 2008. And this is where the original hospital still stands. So now we're in our current med surge unit, which was built in 2008. Here we have 25 beds as part of our critical access hospital system, of which uh, all but two are private rooms where patients can have more comfort and care. We also have rehab beds as part of the swing bed system to help uh, patients in the community return safely to their homes. We'll next go to our SCU unit. Here at Runford, we have two SCU beds where patients have access to more critical care, including drips, where residents can learn to assess and treat higher level of care patients alongside the doctors and the great nursing team. Here's an example of one of our patients' room. As you can see, it's very nice and spacious to help with patient comfort and care to help them get better. It's also nice for when we round as a team, we have plenty of room for all of our team members, including RT, PT, OT, ST, and the rest of the team to help care for the patient. Down the hall from our med-surg unit, we have here our rehab center, where we offer both inpatient and outpatient physical therapy, speech therapy, as well as occupational therapy, where we help patients get back from the hospital into their homes. As part of our rehab services, this also includes cardiac and pulmonary rehab services for our patients who are also out in Lewiston or other CMMC networks to come here and get treated. As a resident, this is also the gym you can use while classes aren't being had uh, to maintain your physical fitness. Now we're at the OB section of the Rumford Hospital where we have two LND beds where the residents work with multitudes of OBs, family medicine doctors, as well as highly, highly seasoned nurses, including Amanda here, who has over 15 years of LND experience. Thank you. So here in our OB department, we do approximately 100 deliveries a year and we have an exceptionally low C-section rate of only 4%. Um, we love working with the residency program and our family practice physicians. Um, we all work very closely together. Um, we're very lucky to have the residents um, who get to have exceptional one-on-one -on -one, hands-on experience um, during the labor and delivery process here and throughout the continuum through newborn care and postpartum care. And now we're entering Rumford's emergency department. On average, we have about 12,000 patients come through this ED alone per year. As Runford residents, we have the opportunity to work with full-time emergency room doctors where we can do anything from intubate a patient coming in right through the door to helping admit patients directly through upstairs to our inpatient unit, as well as helping out with stitches and any um, imaging that patients may or may not need. Behind the hospital, we have our helipad where Life Flight helps us transport critically ill patients all the time. From here down to Lewiston at CMMC takes 17 minutes. For example, we can get a patient with acute coronary syndrome and needed a cath lab in there within less than an hour. We have multiple operating rooms where our general surgery team does multiple surgeries a week about two to three times where residents can scrub in as they so choose. Since Rumford is considered a rural hospital, you can imagine our patients have less access to specialty services. Luckily, our specialists are able to come up here to offer patients that care so they don't have to travel as far. This includes cardiology, oncology, ortho, general surgery, and many more. As part of our specialty services, we also offer chemotherapy in-house, infusions as well um, to help our patients. And here at Rumford, we have our own cafeteria. It does have um, everything you could want and here we get to eat free as a, a residents. Here is one of our resident call rooms where residents can stay on call when they're serving the hospital overnight on 24-hour services or any time they're needed. 
It's nice because we can get access to the ED or the floor in literally seconds. Uh, when you're not staying here in this call room, once you're a little bit more experienced in your residency, you can also stay down the road at the residency house where we also can take call. We feel honored that we get to work with such a small, intimate community with patients that are truly in need. And that even though we're at a rural, smaller hospital, we have exceptional training and access to the highest level of care.